I I really enjoy are there's there's a uh, a mass of the daily coverage, which is and this is another uh, point that people uh, you know like to debate that wh- is, is political writing too focused on the horse race, the who's up, who's down, who's raised the most money, um, and I think. Uh, to some extent, I think that's a very natural kind of uh, reporting. I think it gives the the beat reporters a framework, and I also think, you know, that's that's a very large part of the political process. You know, who's up and who's down. I mean, who, who's raising more money? I mean, money is just a reflection of um, how much that message is resonating, and um, so I have no problem with that that type of coverage. the The coverage that I like uh, is the or that I feel. Uh, illuminates the candidates in a deeper sense, or the 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 pieces that step back, um, and and uh, either explore a theme, or uh, get deeper access to a candidate that takes you beyond the daily uh, uh, the, the just the sort of the constant messaging that happens in a, in a in a in a campaign, and and really tries to explain. Um, in a deeper sense, what the candidate, um, who they are as a person, how, how their campaign is a reflection of their, 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 their sort of deeper self. Um, um, so, yeah. It's interesting, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to know. I mean, I think I have a very, uh, I have a, a biased sample because living in New York and, and having a lot of friends who are journalists, I think, uh, I'm somewhat in the media bubble, um, but I, I I know from my own um, just my own experience the pieces that stick with me long after you know I've read is everything I can about the daily coverage or the you know the the, the deeper more probing um, longer pieces. Mm-hmm.